All right, the Minnesota Vikings, when you think wide receivers, you think it's a pretty good group. And guess what? They have a pretty good position coach, too. It's Drew Petzing, who joins us in the studio. What's up, Drew? How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? You're in a new position this year. Yeah. Coaching the same position, but in a new role. So how is that for you? It's been great. Uh, I spent three years in the room in this building or in, with this organization um, under some great coaches. Learned a lot of ball, and it's, it's been a great opportunity for me to kind of take things on my own and do things the way that I, I th feel like they should be done. So it's, yeah. it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to ask you about some of your players in a minute, but first, some of the other coaches that you work with. You have some of the same faces from last year. You have some new ones in your offensive meeting room. How is the gelling process coming along? It's been great. It, it really is a good group of guys. And at the end of the day, all we want to do is win. Mm -hmm. And I think when you get around guys that have the same goal in mind, uh, that love football and love working together, it makes this job a lot of fun. You have Adam Thielen and Stefan Diggs in your room. Veteran guys who know this team, were brought up by this team, and probably considered by a lot of people to be as good a duo as there is. So what is it like to coach those guys? You're coming into work every single day and you know you got those two guys in your room. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I was in the room when we drafted Diggs. I was in the room early in Thielen's career and developed really good relationship with those guys. And similar to the way that it's been great in the room with the coaches is those two guys love ball and they want to yeah. win. Um, so as a position coach, it makes your job really easy. You know that you're getting guys who have a ton of talent but they're also willing to listen. They're willing to tweak things. They're willing to change things. Um, anything that I say, whether it's the way to run a route or something related to scheme, they're all ears. And that makes my job that much easier, but also a lot of fun to do. Um, so it's been great working with those two guys. You know, most people don't watch the individual drills that you guys do before you get into 11 on 11. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling that you would say those two guys are standouts in that environment as well. They're good route runners. It yep. seems like they're good technicians. Is that true? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you come in, I and mean, it's before and after practice, and on their own. I mean, you, these guys have spent so much time perfecting their craft, and, and that's really what has allowed them to excel in this league, yeah. uh, is that work ethic. And it's a lot of the small little details that these guys are so good at that allows them to have success. After those two guys, you've got a, a room full of, I think it's mostly young, really athletic oh, yeah. group of wide receivers after those two. Tell us a little bit about everyone else. Yeah, it's, it's a really great room. I mean, obviously you have the two who are very talented. After that, you got a lot of guys that are competing for spots on this roster. And from a position coach standpoint, that's a really exciting opportunity. I imagine it is for them as well. Um, you have the two draft picks. You have Chad Beebe, Brandon Zilstra, Jordan Taylor, uh, two other rookies who are undrafted. So many guys from so many different areas that bring different things to the table, uh, that have different skill sets, that need to learn an offense and, and buy into the way that we're doing things and go out there and come to work every day and try to earn a spot. And, yeah. and they know it, and we know it, and, and we're all on the same page in that regard, and it's been a lot of fun to work with the group. You mentioned Chad Beebe. He's gonna be a name that a lot of people are really gonna pay attention to in training camp, because we got a little taste of him last year. Um, some injuries hampered him yep. a little bit, but seems like a guy who's involved a lot when, when ones and twos are out on the practice field. So, are we gonna get a good look at Chad Beebe during camp, and what do you expect from him? Yeah, we're gonna get a good look at everybody in that room. Uh, but Chad's a great kid, he's a great player, extremely hard worker, very smart, similar to the two guys we talked about earlier, spends a ton of time on technique, the little details, all the other things that go into playing the position, and using those things in training camp, and hopefully in the season, we're, we, we excited to, uh, we're excited to work with him. Yeah, during the draft, Vikings select two receivers, Ola B.C. Johnson and Dylan Mitchell. So that's good news. You love that, I'm sure. There's no doubt. Pre-draft process. Try and try and walk back to that time. Mm -hmm. You evaluated those guys. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about evaluating them? Because um, you've you've been with them at practice now. Right. And so do, is what you saw on tape. Are they following through at practice now? Yeah, there's no doubt. One of the things that you look at in the college process is you try to translate. It. There's a lot of things that show up in the college game that you say, all right, he's really good at that, but we may not need him to do that. So you try to pick out the plays or the characteristics that you feel like translate to our game and our offense. And I think both those guys did that at a high level consistently over the course of their career. Yeah. So as you watch their game tape, as you watch some of their cut-ups, you start to see those things, you say, hey, that's something that would make us a better team. And you saw it on their college tape and they come in here for that rookie mini camp and through this off season and it shows up time and time again. Route running ability, uh, athletic ability at the top of your routes, making big catches, making plays down the field. All those things are what really excited us then and are still exciting us now as we got through the all. Yeah, it's all going to come together for the 2019 regular season. You've been here with North Turner, you've been here with Pat Shermer, you've been here with John Filippo. It's, you know, Kevin Stefanski is, is now the offensive coordinator, Gary Kubiak is here. So there's different systems and different strengths 
But at the end of the day, putting scheme and all that stuff aside, what are the two or three things that as an offense, you guys talk about wanting to be able to do? I think the biggest thing is to be difficult to defend. And that can mean so many different things. And for every coordinator you just mentioned, that might mean something different. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is based on the players you have and what they do well. Um, so that's part of our job is to figure out how we can have success and become difficult to defend as an offense. Uh, ultimately, the goal is winning. Mm -hmm. And so whatever is going to give us the best chance to do that, um, I think is really the, maybe the only thing that really yeah. matters in that regard. Next um, thing on the docket is training camp, 2019 Vikings training camp right here at TCO Orthopedics Performance Center. Um, I would imagine that your group's gonna be a fun one to watch. So everyone watching this interview, seeing all the highlights of the wide receivers, um, there's, a, so there's some spots that are open and the competition is gonna be really good, I think, for your group, don't you agree? There's no doubt. We're really excited to come back here at the end of July, beginning of August, and, and compete and try to put a team together that we feel like can go out and play with anybody at any given time, anywhere. All right, man, thanks for your time. Enjoy this little break we got coming up here and we'll see you at training camp, all right? Appreciate it. All right.